Hey everyone out there, YouTube. Um, as you can probably see, I will be doing a review by, you know, up there or down there, or, you know, wherever it is. I will be doing a review on the LG, oh, LG Xenon. Um, I got this phone, let's see, today's Wednesday. I got it on Monday, so that would be three days ago. And it's pretty much awesome. <laughs> uh, quick hardware spin. We have the um, call in slash power button, call start slash talk key, and then the task menu, which brings up all open applications. Home is always running. Um, on the left hand side, you have the volume toggle. Um, there's a little phone vibrate thing right there, so I wonder if you hold it if it goes into vibrate mode. Yep. I don't know if you saw that. Hold it. The vibrating mode on, vibrates a bunch, and then vibrating mode off. Then top left, you have your wrist strap, lanyard strap, cell phone charm strap. You have your uh, micro USB charging port, headphone port. LG doesn't include any headphones with this phone. AT&T doesn't. Kind of weird. And then you have your micro SD card slot. I currently have a 4 gig in there. Then you have your lock button then your camera button and then bottom nothing so that was a quick spin around the hard year, hardware let's check out the menus um, okay down here we have the dialing pad you know very nice it's got the haptic feedback which means it's vibrating whenever you touch it it's got the uh, contacts list which you know what that's like messaging menu you know all that good stuff go ahead and hit back and then it's got your main menu which it's tabbed you have communication you have multimedia you have um, files and tools I believe and then settings on the main menu you can have three different ones hang on real fast okay you can have your favorites well currently it's it defaults to home which is just that nothing on there except for this tray which you can pull out and it's kinda like on Samsung devices you can little widgets you can put on screen and just click and drag it back in the box put that back up you can have a favorite contacts which it uh it puts a picture of a contact about that big on the screen you click on it four rectangles appear on each side you can like quick message quick call or whatever and then you have a favorites menu which has nine applications um, I put the display on there it comes with nine preloaded but I changed them a little bit I only took off two so that's pretty much what you're gonna get and then the menus let's do a spin around those and your uh, I guess this would be phone menu not communication I don't know why it would be uh, dialing address book which you can go contact list, new contact, color groups, speed dial, your management, service numbers, and then my numbers. You can manage them, do all that stuff, all that good stuff. Um, then you have recent calls, you know what that is, messaging, of course you know what that is. Uh, mobile email. Um, it does not support Gmail, which is kind of a bummer, so I can't get my email. I am, uh, let's see the I am clients. Oh, oh new message. Ignore. You have AIM, Windows Live, and Yahoo. And uh, you have AT&T GPS and YellowPages.com, which, since I'm currently using this on T-Mobile, I can actually use the GPS. So, that's pretty cool. And multimedia. You have your MediaNet, which, since I'm on T-Mobile, it goes to T-Mobile's homepage. Media Mall, which, let's see if I can access that with T-Mobile. I don't think I can. Oh. Oh, can I? Can I buy games? Oh, nope. Nope. I can't. Bummer, huh? Go ahead and exit. Um, and then you have at and Music. Has all the music applications, music ID, radio, music videos, make your tones, community, and then more music apps. Okay. Um, then you have your cellular video, which I can't do, at and thing, applications. It comes with mobile TV, mobile banking, and MyCast weather. The weather is nice. Uh, games, it comes with 
Bubble Bash Dinner D Diner Dash 2, which is pretty fun. I play bowling. My brother, he's the only one who's played it. He said it's not that fun. And then Monopoly here and now, which I love Monopoly, so I like that game a lot. Back. Um, the touch screen on here is resistive, which means you actually, you can't just like slide your finger over it. You actually have to put a little pressure. Uh, camera. This, this phone takes good pictures. Um, I like it a lot. Web pages, and of course, like YouTube, Facebook, you know, Google, whatever. And then you have, uh, your my stuff menu which would be that folder um, you have audio which is like ringtones let me show you this phone's really loud um, we'll go to let's do let's do s sideways we'll go ahead and do that one and here we go. speakers right there maximum <laughs> oh, and the, acceler the accelerometer kicks in when you're playing music. I know it's fuzzy, but you'll still get the point. See? But you can't hold it that way. Bummer. No left hand phone. Back. Back. Okay. Pictures. I mean, pictures, yeah. Uh, videos. You don't need to see the pictures and videos. <laughs> Tools. It has voice recorder, voice command. Oh! Oh, I have had a call five 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 one two three four five six seven. I have had fun with this voice command. You should have saw me earlier. Say a command. Call five 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 one two three four five six seven. Say what? a command. Messages. One new message. Oh, gonna have to block message. that out. Say a command. Call eight one seven two six five one two seventy eight. Did you say eight one seven two six five one two seven eight? Yes, I think that's right. Is it? I don't know. Let's call him and find out. Oh. Did you say? Eight no. One Go seven. away. Say a command. No. Okay, and then you also have your notepad. World clock, task, stopwatch, tip calculator, and unit converter. Moving on to calendar, you know what that is. Alarm clock, you know what that is. Nice alarm clock. Calculator, helps you cheat in school. I'm joking. Um, would not advise that. And then more, just like what you have on your memory card. And then moving on to the tools. You have your call settings, date and time settings, Sound settings, display settings, touch settings, phone settings, Bluetooth, and more, which is just like, you know, security and touch calibration, all that good stuff. A um, couple people, well, a person has asked me a message. Um, trying to, okay, it was, can you set, like, different text alerts? Um, you can put, like, a song or whatever you want as a text message alert. But you cannot put individual ones to each different person. It's just one song for all text messages, which is a little bit of a bummer, but still nice. Uh, something I should warn you about service on this phone. Um, if you live in some place like where, I don't, you can probably see it. At my mom's house, I have full service. At my dad's house, um, with my, what's hiding under here, with my G1, um, I get one bar in, you know, like, every other hour, or, <laughs> like, if I hold it upside down in the right spot, I'll get a bar, but with this phone, nada, don't even get it at Walmart, it has horrible service, but I still love the phone, um, and it looks like I'm cutting it about 10 minutes, I might have to do another review, part two, um, I'm just trying to think of anything else I can add. Like I said, if I forget anything, just message me, comment me, whatever. Um, this phone is very nice. The keyboard on it is very nice, very large, roomy, very comfortable to text on. The only thing I'm concerned about is it is it is barely raised at all from the phone. And it just kind of feels like you're mashing, like you hit two keys at a time. And, you know, it's not that nice. Um, you have quick buttons for your uh, mess new message, uh, mobile email, mobile IM, and phone book. As you can tell, I'm trying to go fast. Okay, well, bye. Part two coming up.